We're going to take a look at the new crown functionality in Blue Sky Plane. I'm going to drag in the surfaces. And you can see we're currently in normal mode of the software. And the first thing we want to confirm is that the models have the same general orientation as the head on the bottom left of the screen. If they do great, if not, then we have other videos on orienting them properly and also how to put the models in occlusion in relation to each other. We can open up the surfaces panel by clicking surfaces. Here we could see the surfaces that we've imported into the software. The first thing we're going to do is align the scan body. We click the add scan body button, select the relevant scan body from the drop down list, and then left click in the flat surface of the scan body, wait just a second and the software aligns and orients the scan body. Let's do that again for the second scan body. Now that we have the scan bodies aligned, we're going to continue by aligning a new implant and abutment. We're going to select the relevant implant, select the relevant abutment, and press OK. We'll do this for the second scan body as well. The relevant implants, relevant abutments, and click OK. I'm now going to click on the implant itself and click Align, Align New Tooth. We have several different implant libraries. We're going to select the implant library that we want, the relevant tooth, and press OK. Let's do that again. Align, align new tooth, and press. We also have the option of selecting small, medium, or large here, and then press OK. So now we've added in our scan bodies, our implants, abutments, and our teeth. We're going to switch over to the CAD module to continue creating the crowns by clicking Crown and Bridge. At this point we could go to our teeth edit panel and we can make any modifications to the teeth. If you right click on the model and choose toggle transparency and we can see through the models and we can now modify the positioning and the size of the teeth. We can also go ahead and use different editing tools that we have at our disposal. We have a smooth, smooth tool that does exactly that. You can hold down the shift key, use your left mouse button to smooth any surface. Global Geometry Transform, you could then grab any of the nodes to stretch and to transform the tooth. Add or remove material shift and left mouse button adds material and control and left mouse button removes material. Local geometry transform. You could grab any spot on the tooth and grab it and drag it to design the tooth accordingly. You could control the tool size as well using the slider. Relax mesh. Again hold down the shift key and use your left mouse button. In general, we do want the tooth to interact and intersect with the model. It will help us out a bit later on, but it's not necessary and either way is, is fine. Once we have our teeth placed and designed, creating the restoration is quick and easy. We're going to make sure we're in the restoration design panel. The restoration type should be set to crown. Select the relevant jaw. Here we need to make sure that we have the correct surfaces and options selected correctly. So we changed our model to the relevant model. The crown is our first molar. The tie base is for the first molar. And the antagonist is the upper model. We're going to press the start button. First thing we're going to do is set our path of insertion. 
and then click next. We're going to define the proximal area. Hold down the shift key and just grab and drag with your left mouse button and then click next. Here we have a curve. This is based on our intersection of the crown and the model, but we could go ahead and make any modifications by holding down the shift key and grabbing and just dragging with our left mouse button. Once we have the desired curve, we go ahead and click on next. Now we're going to design the connection of the crown to the tie base. We have the options of modifying the crown margin. We could change the titanium base margin. And we could change the spacer between the titanium base and the crown. We also have an option here of creating a screw channel just by clicking the checkbox. Let's click on next. We once again have our design tools that we could use to modify the crown as needed or press next. And finally, before finalizing, the software shows us any intersections. If we want, we could turn on the opposing arch. We can make even make any modifications through the opposing arch. Or we could choose that the software should go ahead and cut the intersections automatically. Press the finalize button. And we could see the designed crown in the software. And here's our designed crown ready for export, which could be done by going to File, Export Data. Creating the second crown is a very similar process. Go back to our restoration design panel, mandible, make sure the settings are correct for the model for the crown. Now we need to change it to the second molar, the tie base for the second molar, and then press start. We're planning a new restoration. We're not continuing to plan the previous restoration. Setting our insertion direction. Defining the proximal areas, which is not relevant for this tooth. Here we have the curve designed by the software. Again, we could hold down the shift key, grab and drag to make any modifications to the curve. Press next. Review and modify as needed the connection of the crown to the titanium base. Press next. Review the design of the crown, modify as needed using any of the editing tools that we discussed previously, and then press next. And then finally, checking any intersections, deciding how the software should, do, should deal with it, or pressing back and editing yourself, and then clicking finalize. We can now see our two designed crowns. We do have the original crowns appearing still in the surfaces list. If you want to redo it or redo the design, just delete the new crowns. And then you can repeat the process. And we have our two crowns ready for export.